That was a good weigh in. This is going to be an insanely awesome video, and not to mention an incredible Road to Ripped episode 7. Today's video is going to be all about pro tips that I have for you. But first, before we even get into it, what would be your number one pro tip you were gonna tell me or someone else when trying to lose weight, dieting, and trying to keep muscle as well? I'll let you comment that down below, and I got some unboxing to do. Oh, oh yeah, oh baby. Could not have come at a better time from Liquid IV. Uh, me and Perry celebrated, um, well one, just a beautiful day yesterday, and Hit a low weigh in. We are now under 210. Let's go. And we had a couple of drinks last night, and I'm no longer under 210. But we are <laughs> going. To, but we are going to do something fun and new and special today. So let's get hydrated with some liquid IVs. I'm going acai. And I'm trying the passion fruit. All right, like normal, I'm late, but I have arrived. Um, we have the yoga mat right here, and me and Perry are about to do hot yoga in the morning. Honestly, thank God for this liquid IV because we need it. I only had four drinks last night. I don't know how that happens, but we have an insane video planned for you. Things are starting to change. Things are starting to get spicy, and I want to show you exactly what I'm doing to keep the strength going up, the weight going down, and it's going to be a great video. If you can do me a favor, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I am going to go get some hot yoga done. This is how I look currently. Let's see how sweaty I am when I return. And just like that, uh, my shirt has pretty much changed colors on me. Perry also got a pretty good leakage in. <laughs> it was dripping. And that is one hour of yoga done this morning. My thoughts are that it was a very good, it was a good kind of next step to what I have been doing, which is like the stretching like three times a week and trying to limber up and get a little looser and stuff like that. Um, it was a little more like high pace, uh, mm -hmm. less like deep stretching. Yeah, it's like it's like moving, like flowing through it. Like. Yeah, we came to Seaside Power Yoga uh, over in Jack's Beach. So all around a great start to a great day. By the way, the liquid IV came in clutch. Me and Perry were both leaking and for not drinking enough water last night. This definitely helped out. And I think I have a discount code now for liquid IV. It's kind of sick because I've been using them since literally I was in college. So it's hope to be working with them now. Um, check out a link down below if you guys want to pick up anything from them. It will, I think it'll help me out a little bit, but either way, I do really enjoy taking liquid IV, especially in mornings after drinking or mornings after I know I haven't been getting a lot of water in. Stopped at a place right next door called Vitality Bowls. Got some acai bowls. Perry and me got the exact same thing, except she got peanut butter on hers. That looks delicious. Nothing as refreshing as like a cold acai bowl after hot yoga. Mm. So easy to track my fitness pal. Literally had Vitality Bowls in there. Exact calories, 400 calories for this bowl. That ain't bad at all. All right, back home, quick little outfit change. And uh, just been kind of chilling, relaxing, doing a little maintenance work around the house. But for this video, I think I'm gonna title it something along the lines of like five pro tips to help your fat loss or to help you on a cut, whatever it may be. But the pro tip number one would obviously be what I talked about earlier. Putting an emphasis on your stretch, your recovery, your mobility, things like that. I noticed a huge, huge difference since I've been doing it probably like for a month or so now. Pro tip I have number two for you is pre-gym, you gotta eat some carbs. A couple favorites of mine, the Kodiak cake mug cakes that I've been making, unreal. Oatmeal, this is the Kodiak protein oats, but normal oatmeal is great as well. And what I'm gonna have today, just some sort of like quick carb granola bar, rice crispy treat, something like that. So I think I'm gonna have actually two rice crispy treats. These are only 90 calories a piece. They taste delicious and they're really good quick carb source like I mentioned. Two more really important things, uh, especially if you're someone who sweats a lot or has like really high intensity, high volume workouts, is some sort of salt that really will help, one, help you have a better, better pump and two, replenish and make you feel a hell of a lot better while you're sweating. And three is water chugging water first thing i do when i wake up is chug a full glass of water and if you want to skip the salt liquid ivs these honestly are really really well dosed for like a pre-workout or like pre-cardio sometime that you know you're going to sweat a lot drink one of these you'll be good to go so that's my plan two of these i'll probably put one of these in my water take some pre-workout and that is going to be the pre-gym ritual for today mm. 
All right, now I don't really know if this is a pro tip or not, but wearing shorts like these that have like liners built in, or I guess just wearing sliders underneath your shorts on leg days make a huge difference for me. I don't know why. I think it's just the compression and like get your legs warm or whatever. But if you're not doing it, definitely do it. And if you want to pick up these exact shorts, these have a little liner built in and they're stupidly comfortable. You know exactly where to get them, TLF, and you can use my code to save 15%. All right, leg day in three, two, one. All right, welcome back to another voiceover and welcome back to squat days or really quad days. Now, starting off with a nice warm up here after I did my Stairmaster for about 10 minutes and about five minutes of stretching. As you can see, I'm using not the average bar. So this is like a curled bar. You can kind of tell a little better in this picture, but it really helps me one as a low bar squatter, having that extra room, that extra depth. It hurts my shoulders a whole lot less too, but it is 55 pounds or 25 kgs instead of a normal 45 pound bar. So just keep that in mind. As I progress, I was having a little knee pain, so I haven't done this in a while, but I did use my knee sleeves today. And I also put on a belt just for overall safety reasons. I don't know, my lower back's been kinda feeling weak, but also like feeling like it's sore. So I'm just taking precautions where I can. And I'll go into this later, but I was feeling very weak today and a little shaky. So I actually picked up a protein shake at the front, a lean body, 40 grams of protein, I think 230, 280 calories. So not terrible there. Um, if you are ever feeling shaky in a workout sometimes, just. If you have a protein bar or like a granola bar or eat something uh, and drink some water, you normally will start to feel a little better. But eventually we did work up to 315 and I ended up doing three sets of five here. I found that volume is really, really good. Uh, sometimes I'll do four sets of three, but the three sets of five volume is where I found I get a really good amount of growth, a really good pump, and I'm still able to get pretty good depth and feel the contraction good as well. So as I said, I was feeling pretty tired from the leg day, but we did do some pit shark burnout goblet squats. So feet relatively close together, keeping the weight really close in line with my knee. What that does is help keep the weight over my knee and therefore load the quads a little better. I did this for three sets, pretty much the failure, but trying to get at least 15 reps and then supersetting that with calf raises. And something interesting that I did here, I did five reps with a three second hold at the top of five reps, and then immediately did 10 reps or two failure of the exact same weight quick without a pause. This way you're not only working on strength, but you're also getting a lot of volume in there as well. Then just finished off with the classic, the leg extension. Um, so what I like to do here is keep the volume intensity really high. So I'll set the weight to something that I can do maybe 10 times tops and try to do three to four sets there and then do a drop set all the way down, decreasing the weight by like 10, 20 pounds and going to failure for another two sets there. So a total of five to six sets and an awesome, awesome way to end a quad day. All right, and that is the workout. <sighs> I was not gonna touch on this until later on in the video, but another pro tip, rest days are insanely important. Um, I haven't had an actual rest day where I haven't done cardio and I haven't done training in over two weeks. And I'm really, really feeling it now. Probably one of the negative side effects of not having a coach, not having someone actively watch over my training and recovery probably is biting me in the butt just a little bit right now. Because I'm the type of person is once I, once I see progress, once I start to see results, I wanna keep driving, I wanna keep going. And that's not honestly the best way to do it. The best way to do it is to take your body slow, give your body the rest that it needs to one, build and retain the muscle, and two, fuel itself to further your weight loss. That said, definitely taking a rest day tomorrow. That means no cardio, no training, taking it chill. But all around looking at the physique, definitely, definitely getting leaner, definitely seeing a little more visibility on the abs, a little, little more leanness on the obliques. Um, well, back definition, I can't see right this second, but I'm sure it's right around the same, looking a little better as well. So as far as weight goes, weight in under 210, 209.4 yesterday that was a really good way and considering i just went traveling again and like i said i think that way of eating just tracking my calories helped so much throughout that travel period i did have a nice dinner last night i did have like three or four drinks last night so i weighed in at 210.3 this morning just about a pound heavier i really think that's going to come off tomorrow though because i hadn't gone to the bathroom or anything like that when i woke up so all around i'm really happy with the weight and like body fat loss that i have as of right now as far as training goes it's still been going great haven't really seen any like strength loss yet even today the weight didn't feel heavy 
I just felt weak. I hope that kind of makes sense. So all around road rip is still all the way in check. Another pro tip that I wanted to share is regarding cardio. So a lot of people don't know when the best time to do cardio is or what would be the best for their gains. And it's honestly pretty simple. Always prioritize weight training first. So if you're someone who likes to go to the gym, get your cardio done and your weight training done at the same time, definitely train first. Obviously I still do a warm up, a 10 minute warm up just to get the blood flowing, but train first and then focus on your cardio after your lift. That way you're not wearing out your muscles, tiring out your muscles, kind of like I did today and you're a lot weaker in your lift. If you're someone who likes to just do cardio in the morning, if you're a morning cardio person, that's totally fine. Do your morning cardio in the morning, but then train later on in the day. Make sure you're getting enough water in, you're replenishing your water, you're replenishing your food, you're eating enough and you're resting enough to where you train later in the day and that's not gonna affect your workout. So let me know what your pro tip would be in the comments down below and let's go home because I got another one for you. And that is protein. So I just did one scoop today, normally I have two. Um, but I like to get my protein right after the gym, mostly because I just feel like I don't forget it if I have it right after the gym. But I really don't think it's as important getting it in when catabolic window or anabolic window or whatever the window is, uh, as people say it is. I think just your daily protein intake is most important. Perry went to Trader Joey's and said they had something brand new that I have to try out. The Fulfill Protein Bars. So I guess they have two flavors, the chocolate hazelnut and the chocolate salted caramel. Both of them same macros though, 160 calories and 15 grams of protein. That is pretty solid macros if I do say so myself. I'm gonna try this one. Stay tuned to the next Road Rip episode, I'll try the other one. It kind of reminds me of, of a Bear Bells. Yes, same vibe. Yo, mm-hmm. Um, yes, very, very similar, I think, to a, to a Bear Bells or Barbell Bars. I kind of like these a little better, though. Another absolute snack from Trader Joey's. All right, it's now dinner time, and back to pro tips. And this pro tip comes in clutch so much for me. And it goes back to prepping things in bulk, not necessarily meal prepping, but making things in bulk so that it's easy to just set meals aside. So from last week, I still have so much meat left over from all the stuff that I cooked in two episodes ago. But tonight we are making mostly sides, carb sources, and veggies. One of my favorite things while cutting as a carb source is sweet potatoes. They're so delicious, they're so filling, and for not that many calories in a good carb source. So what we did was slice like cubed up four sweet potatoes. We're gonna put that in the bowl. And I'm also gonna cut up some Brussels sprouts and toss some broccoli florets in there as well. Spray a little bit of avocado oil on it, do a little bit of seasoning, lay them off in the pans, and then we're gonna put them in the oven at 400 for probably like 25 minutes or so. And when it's all said and done, the result is this right here. An absolute game changer for getting your meals prepared throughout the week. And it's gonna serve us for, with an insanely delicious side for dinner tonight. All right, here's how we're looking all said and done. What we have in this dinner bowl right here, about 250 grams of the Brussels sprout broccoli mix that we also sprinkled some fat-free mozzarella cheese over top. About 220 grams of the sweet potato chunks perfectly seasoned and cooked. And then about 210 grams roughly of the ground beef, ground turkey mixture that I pre-made the week before, plus a little bit of Bolt House Ranch and some Cholula hot sauce over top. Now, I don't know about you, but I like to just mix everything together. All right, first bite. Mmm, definitely just hit different. So this is dinner tonight. Me and Perry are gonna watch some Bridgerton. I don't think either of us are that big of a fan of it, but we're trying to get into it. It's no F1 drive to survive, I'll tell you that right now. All right, dinner is done, that was delicious. Uh, quick peep at the calories and macros. So I have roughly like, I think 600 calories left, but more importantly, I still need to get like about 40 or so grams of protein in. Could I end my day with a shake? Yes, but I always like ending my day with like a nice sweet dessert. And here's what I'm making. All right, what we have here is about 400 grams of Dandelion Fit fat-free Greek yogurt and one Winnie and Larry's Boss cookie. Now, I will say the cookie looks pretty good um, and it's 220 calories for 18 grams of protein, so the macros are pretty good. The flavor is pretty bad. I just tried a bite of it as I was crumbling in. 
it's not good at all. But I'm gonna eat it because I have to hit my protein for the day. And that is pro tip number probably like 700 in this video. Always prioritize one, your calories first. Make sure you're staying under your total calorie intake for the day. And second, make sure you're hitting within those calories, your overall protein for the day. So I was a little lacking in protein with this meal right here. I'm now sitting right under 2,500 calories and right under 210 grams of protein. So that is exactly where I wanna be to end my night. So do I have to make a little bit of a sacrifice, maybe eat a little bit when I don't really want to or eat something that I don't really want to because it has a little higher protein? Yes, but in my opinion, it's worth it to make sure I'm hitting all my goals, checking those boxes and getting it done. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat this right here. Perry is cleaning the counter, let that be noted. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Let me know, one, what was your favorite tip in the video, and two, what would be your pro tip for you on your weight loss, fat loss, building muscle journey? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to watch one of the next ones up here. If you're new to the channel, as always, subscribe, and I will be seeing you in the next one. Peace.